This video is going to be number two of five in my mystery bag unbaggings. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you don't know what these are, my father-in-law got me five of these at a flea market for a total of $50 and we're in the process of going through them all to find what Lego stuff's in here, what non-Lego stuff's in here, which from the last video there was quite a bit. And actually there was some Lego stuff in my non-Lego pile and I want to thank some of the people that left comments on that to help me find it. In fact, I'll show that to you right now. What you see here is what I believe to be everything that I missed from the mystery bag number one. Luckily, some people came through, like I mentioned, a pointed out that this is a visor for a Star Wars character, apparently. Had no idea on that. Flickfire Missile, I did miss that. And there were a couple other pieces as I went back through it today that I noticed that I missed as well. I have that video still up and I still have all the pieces. So if anyone else does comment on there and there's some other things that I missed outside of this, I'll be sure to go back through it and we'll pick those out as well. But today our task is to get through bag number two and I'm gonna do that right now. So let's take a look at it. Here it is my friends. And the first thing that I'm noticing on this is there's a good bit of grime inside here. So we're gonna have fun going through this. I do see a lot of non-lego pieces got these dreaded mega blocks in here again see a rubber band there and there's even a micro machine so we got a lot of work to do ahead of us but we're going to open it up now and get started and now we'll go in for the close-up got an army man what else do we have in here a lot of other little knickknacks and things in here. I did see a minifigure somewhere in here. Unfortunately, it's not a Lego minifigure, it's just like a little army guy. And, oh man, look at the grime on that wheel. That is a Lego piece, but you got a little bit of nastiness on there, a little bit of stickiness. There's a Desert Storm guy, army crawling through the pile. There's that micro machine there. Always love it when there's just basic trash in here, like Hershey's wrappers and things like that. What's that guy? That's kind of cool. I actually find it really fun to kind of go on a treasure hunt and see what we have in here for Lego pieces and just to see all the non-Lego stuff is kind of funny too. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll be back with you here once I go through it all and we'll see just what we have. I just finished going through everything and just like on the last video, on the left side is the Lego pile and on the right is the non-Lego pile. In terms of percentages, it was about what I expected and pretty similar to the last one. To start off with, we're going to focus on the Lego pile. I'll just kind of do a fly over this so you can see everything that was included in there. You can pause the video if you want to see it in more detail. Again, there's really no good way to show you this, and I'll try to go over this the best that I can here. Just so you can see everything that's in there. Because that's what a mystery bag is all about, finding out what the mystery is. And now I want to show you a couple pieces from this that I thought were interesting, and maybe a couple that I have questions on out of the Lego pile. First thing I wanna show you is this shield. It doesn't specifically say Lego on the back, but it's very similar to what I remember as a kid. Someone could let me know for sure if that's Lego. If it is, I'm pretty stoked that was in here. Another thing I liked was this silver surfboard. Got a few minifigure accessories. Got this baseball hat, this shovel. I think this is from Star Wars. I know there's some Star Wars fans that are watching this. You'll be able to let me know for sure. This right here is kind of cool. I don't know if this is Lego or not, but this is like a little mustache that'll go around a minifigure's head. Unfortunately, they must have picked all the minifigures from this collection because I haven't come across any in the two bags that I've gone through. Now, I do believe this is Lego, but what is it exactly? It kind of reminds me of something from Star Wars. Maybe someone can answer that as well. The last couple accessories were this visor and this air tank. Does anyone know if this is official Lego? It doesn't say anywhere on the air tank. Again, this is something that's very similar to what I remember from my childhood, but these Mega Blocks, they're so similar in some cases that there could be a chance that this isn't official. Maybe you can let me know if you look around at every angle of it. The same thing applies to this. I believe that is also Lego, but I need to know for sure if that is or not. I want to show you some other cool pieces as well. This is Lego, but this has like a bendable, flexible tip on it, which is kind of cool. I also like this tile. Does anyone know what this is from? Looks like it has like some alien writing on it. And lastly, this one is for my Bionicle followers. Is this stuff legit? This doesn't have any Lego badging anywhere on it, but I believe it is Bionicle and this piece as well. I'm just not too familiar with it, but I know I have some people that watch this that are. So what you see here essentially is what I paid $10 for. Again, I'm curious, how many pieces do you think are in this pile and how much would you pay for it? That's what I'd like to know. But now that we got that covered, let's move over here to the non-Lego pile, which is a little more important for the purposes of this video. Obviously, there's some very blatant things in here that aren't Lego. Like we pointed out earlier, the 
the army guys, which this thing's pretty cool. I think I'm going to probably give this to my son. Again, all this collection, well, not this stuff, but we saw over there, this is all going to be a part of my son's collection who's just getting started out. He's only two right now. Going to give him this micro machine as well. I Someone mentioned in the last video not to throw this stuff away, and I don't think I'm going to. I think what I'm going to do is probably piece it all together in terms of the Mega Bloks and maybe sell them at the yard sale. A couple of little action figures and things I'm going to give my son. If it's just blatant junk, I am just going to throw it away. But this pile, just like the last video, is really important that we go through this and you make sure, for my sake, that I don't throw away any Lego stuff. The first thing I want to cover are these. This, to me, it doesn't have any badging on it, but I believe this to be Lego. I don't even know what to call this thing, like a... I don't know. I don't know how we're going to talk about this in the comments, but I think that's Lego. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put this in the pile because I think it is. And then I believe this is as well. But these two red things, and I'll get a little closer on this so you can see them a little better. Any idea what those are? Are those Lego? Because I don't want to put those in this pile if they are. So just let me know on these things, and now we'll get into this pile a little more in depth. And I think the easiest way to do this is if I spread this really thin, and we're going to do a fly over it so you can identify individual pieces, just like the last video. Here we go. I'm going to go over this fairly slowly. And again, I went through this rather quickly. I mean, it took me some time to do, so I'm not staring at everything. But this is the one thing in here that kind of threw me off. I was like, oh, is that a minifigure? But it's just, the quality is really crappy, and it's kind of broken on the leg there. And again, there may be a few Lego things in here that just are either destroyed or have some issue with them. So you might see a couple things like that, but I don't think this is an official minifigure but I could be wrong. Again, I've been wrong before. Got another connects piece here. Not too much connects in here. It's mostly mega blocks, like I mentioned. And again, I'm deliberately going slowly over this so we can see everything that's inside here. Hopefully, if I am throwing something away, you can spot it. Again, those Star Wars people from the last video, they came right out and they, they identified a couple things that I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that was like, I would have put that into the junk pile. So I was really happy for that. And I really appreciate the people that took the time to go over this. Again, I want to give you a chance to see this, and if you need to pause the video, I'll try to get as down low and close as I can to everything here. And if you're like me, some of these pieces, they may leave you a little confused. There's a couple of them in here that I had to look at twice just to see. These Mega Blocks are so good, especially with these. I noticed that the Lego ones, they have writing on the inside, and the Mega Blocks ones, or whatever brand they are, don't. So those are the ones that I'm like really looking close at. And I don't want to drag this on too much longer because it's just getting out of control. But uh, there is the non-Lego pile. Pretty big pile at that. So I'm going to cut this video off here. Again, let me know if you saw anything in either pile that shouldn't be there. And those individual things that we looked at, let me know on those too because that's really important to me. And we'll be back again very shortly for mystery bag number three in the next video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you then.